What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Might Be Drafting, back with another video. And today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K17, my career news that just happened today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and all that stuff. Also, I have my NBA Live giveaway for 100,000 coins. And if you guys give me 20 subscribers, then it'll be 150. 30 will be 200. 40 will be 250, 50 will now be 300 because I have that much coins now, and I might be able to do 350, but that's only if you guys get me to 60 subscribers, which would be, I'd be so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for all the support that's been on my channel, but anyway, we're going to be talking about the new, just, game in general for, um, my career, and we're going to start off with these things called archetypes, archetypes, I don't know what they're called, but... Basically, they're your start-off skills for your my player. So you could be a slasher, a sharpshooter, a glass cleaner, a post scorer, a point forward, a lockdown defender, and a shot creator. Slasher will give you all the speed. Sharpshooter will give you the shooting. Glass cleaner will give you the rebounding. Post scorer will give you the post scoring. Point forward. I think it just means if you're taller, then you could be faster. I'm not completely sure what that means. A lockdown defender, obvious shot creator. Curry. There's also some new attributes that they add in the game, like they put an agility stat, a three point and mid range shooting, so they split up the jump shooting tab. They also have strength and agility tabs that are two different things, and a layups and dunks tab, which is one thing. Also, they put a ton of boosts on the story mode. They said they have more in-game emphasis than out-of-game emphasis from last year, because last year it was everything out of game, and then after that you got nothing. You have a dynamic duo named Justice Young, who is a second-round draft pick, and like you guys get boosts and stuff that I'll talk or, um, talk about later on. There's also a new person named Denver Levins, who played in the Euro League, the D League, and from what the blog says, he seems to be funny. So. Um, there's also Michael B. Jordan's one of the main actors in this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who starred in the movie Creed. Hannibal Burris is Ice the Barber, which we don't have too much information on. Same with Matt Walsh, who's the college coach named Hemsley Adson. Aaron Cov F. Covington helped write the movie Creed, which um, Michael B. Jordan starred in. And he also helped write the 2K stories. Also in the career... They boost connections completely. Um, they have where you could send text messages to like players, teammates, etc. And they have it so that it's interactive now. So you could send text messages to, text messages to people and people could send text messages to you. If you're a gym rat, then Justice Young will respect, respect you more. And you guys will have more of a relationship on the court. But if you're more of an outspoken in press conference, the thing says there will be different ramifications, which I'm guessing will be like a storyline or something. I don't really know what that means. Also, <laughs> there's a thing called orange juice. And I know what you're thinking, Anthony, what's orange juice? Orange juice is basically the chemistry between you and Justice Young. Um. There's just like a thing that said it could be more deeper than that, which I really didn't understand. But you could read in on that. There's no like information about that. Basically, now you have dual player controls with him, where you could tell him to ISO, you could tell him to cut, you could tell him to shoot, you could tell him to, s you could switch over, and completely control everything he does. And if you don't really, you're not feeling Justice Young, I think his last name was. There's ways to play without him, so. Um, there's mute now, um, with off days and stuff, it says off court AI, it's just off days. Um, there's multiple things you could do on one off day. For example, you could go to the gym and it's always open when you practice. You can make extra VC with endorsements like last year. And you could hang out with real NBA players, which is same as last year. So all, pretty much all the stuff is available last year, but they get more in depth in it and more things. Text messages are, com you could communicate this year via text, it's completely interactive, and players could text you to hang out, give feedback on your performance, and set up events. 
um, there's more effort that goes into endorsements this year. And you could, instead of like waiting a while, you could begin off your career with a shoe deal. And basically, the better you do in college, the better shoe you deal you get, the more money you stack. Um, companies are going to be looking for different types of players. For example, Mountain Dew might be looking in flashier players, and Spalding might be interested in like better ball handlers. Um, connections will work in the same way. Curry, like, connections will work same I don't know why I said that, but basically what I'm trying to say is that um, the more you compare to a player, the more they're going to want to connect with you. Like Curry will talk to you sooner if you hit long threes or sign with Under Armour. Kobe will talk to you sooner if you work harder in the doom. And KD will talk to you sooner if you like switch teams. You can negotiate endorsement deals. And you could sign, you can't sign with a company that, like, like for example, Powerade and Gatorade and Pepsi and Coke. You can't sign with rival companies. There's also more improvements on live practice. You could put in time for overall, so you don't have to spend too much money. There's a do and work meter that boosts you every time you fill it up. And, like, it's kind of confusing, like, ooh, do it work filter, um, filter, meter. How do you fill it up? Um, you could fill it up in my court, team practice, shooting around. And there's also new drills. Ball movement drills, pick and roll drills, setting screen drills. So drills that will actually help you in the game. This is interesting. The gym. There's the ladder drill. The um, weight drill. The bench press. The squats and the vertical jump. Some other new news is about my court is there's three new courts and you can also have wall murals like in the picture that'll probably pop up right now. It shows a thing with all the great Lakers. There's also like Brandon Ingram and D-Russ. Um, most sub story scenes will take place on your court. You could also play with friends there, play with your connections, shooting around or doing work with other players boost your meter faster so your um, doing work meter will go up faster the more you shoot around with people. You could also shoot around people with court on the court. And what the guy that wrote the article is talking about is he got like a text message from Carl Anthony Towns and they play were shooting around and then he challenged him to a one on one, which is completely insane. So hyped for that. Some additional notes are Oh the, he said that there's a huge moment in the prelude. I don't know what it is. Smart coach. I like smart coach a lot. Practice to stay in the rotation. So like, if you skip practice, you can't go into, um, can't play as much. It gives you feedback and gives your team feedback. Um, new tracking system. Oh yeah, like, say for example, more endorsements are gonna want you if you posterize LeBron compared to if you posterize freaking Nate Robinson. You know, low lesser guys. If you ignore text, it lowers the chances of endorsements and lowers the chances of connections. And also, they have in-studio interviews with Shaq and Kenny. Also, you could get interviewed by David Aldridge, which kind of brings me to another point that this has nothing to do with my career, but I think Chris Webber is going to be an NBA 2K17. And here's why. Because NBA 2K17 now has the rights to Chris Webber because he's an announcer now, so why wouldn't they add him in the game for maybe not like a play now, but they'd probably have him for my team. But anyway, Itchy Boy might be drafted, and I'm signing out. Peace.